guys welcome back to world illuminate 11 i hope you're doing well today and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here and if you are looking to have a personal reading done for your twin flame journey or a one-on-one -on -one session all about regaining or standing in your power you can contact me via my email or my website my details are in the description box below so for this video we're going to do a quick energy check-in we're bringing in all only two decks we're bringing in the tarot of the celtic fairies with it being saint patrick's day and everything um to see what is going on with the divine masculines and we are bringing in the guardian angel um the guardian angel tarot cards for the divine feminine to see what is going on so we're going to check in to see so thank you angels what is going on with the divine masculines what is going on with the divine masculines thank you angels what is going on with the divine masculine so we've got a few cards here and then thank you angels what is going on with the divine feminines what do we need to know wow really jumping out okay so let's see what cards have come out here for the divine masculines i'm just going to turn these round so we can see what is happening here okay so the first card that i can see here is the ten of stones and the ten of stones is about burdens and that's about releasing burdens you know needing to release burdens to let go of the things that they are still sort of dragging that are sort of pulling them down so the divine masculines are in this place of working on releasing the burdens that's things that they're still holding on to these can be fears this can be coming situations in their life you know it's about working on releasing these burdens and then they the next card that has come out for them is the judgment card and the judgment card this is about sort of getting to the place of sort of looking at their life and just really realizing that you know they need to change you know things are not working out with all these burdens that they have that they're dragging around with them you know it's all just too much they want to change in their life you know it's like a time of reflecting and just realizing that they're done with this life that is full of burdens and they want to change so there is the judgment card that has come out for them as well and then the next card that has come out is the hierophant and the Hierophant is really about being on their spiritual path as well. So you're being shown here that they are in these places. They're going through their awakening. They're starting to follow their spiritual paths where they need to release the burdens, the things that they've held on to for a very long time. And, you know, that's why they're going through this time of reflecting on their life as well. And, you know, and just realizing that they need this change. So they are starting to follow their spiritual path. They may be following other people who are guiding them as well, on, who are already on this path you know who are like-minded people who are the people who are guiding them on their path as well and you know as they go through this time of change so that's a powerful card to have come out and the next card that came out is the four of swords and this is about rest so they may be taking some time to themselves as well some time to rest we're getting closer to the weekend as well you know, they may be just taking some time to rest and recharge, to reflect as well and think about things. You know, these burdens that they're carrying that they need to release, reflecting on their life. So they may be taking some time to just rest and think about things and, you know, reflect on their life as well. Especially as they are in this place of change, you know, so that they can be able to move forward and release what needs to go and move forward towards the life that they desire. The next card that has come out for the Divine Masculines is the King of Spears. And the King of Spears is that uh, is the King of Wands, and that's about that loyalty as well. So you're being shown here that they have that loyalty towards, you can see there, there's like holding out like a little something. It's like your Divine Masculine offering you that loyalty as well. You know, really at the point of being, you know, coming out of the darkness and more into the light. So that's about that change as they're looking at their life, reflecting on their life, Life, realizing that you know they don't want this life that is full of that darkness or the burdens that the things that they're carrying and they are at the threshold of coming out of this you know as they're starting to go through the awakening with the hierophant that came out which is all about that change and moving forward on their spiritual path it's like they're coming out of the darkness and they have that loyalty that they have that they're offering to you as well their divine feminine so powerful that that has come out 
And the next card that has come out is the King of Cauldrons, and that's the King of Cups. So this is about the love that they have for you. So they may be quiet, you know, taking some time to rest, you know, uh, taking some time for themselves, but they are holding this cup of that love for you. So, you know, they are having this love for you. They may not be letting you know yet of the love that they have, but they are coming up as the King of um of cups as well so they are holding on to this cup of love and that's about the loyalty as well that they as they are coming out of the darkness out of the life that they've always had you know moving more into the light moving more forward on their um spiritual path as well they are coming in to offer you that love that they have for you as well and you know that loyalty that they also have and the next card that has come out here is the three of stones and the three of stones really is about that sort of working together so you know you and your divine masculine you are sort of working together you know they may sort of still be standing a bit away and you know sort of in a place where they're still trying to figure things out in their own life you know at the point where they're the threshold of coming out of the darkness or the life that they've always had but you are both working together towards the same goal so you are being shown here that you know whilst you're doing your life you know doing you on in your life they are also work starting to move forward as well working together with you and starting to move forward towards you and then the next card that has come out is the emperor. So you're being shown here that, you know, they are working on becoming the emperor. They are starting to become who they're truly meant to be. And it's like, you know, they are moving forward towards this becoming the emperor. So really powerful that this has come out. You know, they are on their path and they are moving forward towards becoming the emperor. And then that is what is leading them to you as well. So that's about finding the balance in all areas of their life as well. And they're working on this and the last card that came out is the six of cauldrons and that's about the past coming back so they are going to be that past that comes back to you their divine feminine you know they are the thresholds of coming out of this life that they've always had they are moving forward towards you they have that cup of love for you and they're going to be that past that is coming back to you because right now they are reminiscing even during their time of sort of taking time for themselves and resting and you know, recharging, reflecting on their life. They're also thinking about the times, the good times that you've shared. And, you know, they are wanting to be the past that comes back because they want that life with you. They're tired of this life, of the burdens, things that they've been holding on to that are really not helping them or bringing them fulfillment and success in their life. So they are wanting a change and they are thinking about the good times that they've shared with you and they're wanting to be the past that comes back to you. And then the cards that came out for you, the Divine Feminine. So the first one is inner strength. So you're being asked to have that inner strength, that strength to keep moving forward. You have great courage and kindness. You may not realize how strong and powerful you are, but there is no problem you can't solve. The compassion you so freely give to others must also be given to yourself. Stand strong in your convictions if the right if the right answer to tell someone is no. So if you need, if you are feeling that you need to say no to someone, then stand strong in that, you know, be in your power as a divine feminine. And you know, the compassion that you give to yourself, that's about that inner strength, you know, operating from the place of love where you have that compassion and kindness and understanding and give all that to yourself as well. So that's the message that's coming through. So that's about your strength to keep moving forward as well. When it comes to your journey, having that compassion, compassion towards your divine masculine because they're working on becoming the emperor and they are working on releasing the burdens and coming out of the darkness or the life that they've always held, uh, lived and you know and they it takes time and you know it's about having that car that kindness and compassion towards them as well and then the next card that has come out for you is out with the old and in with the new and it says heaven is showing you a sign that it's time to move in a new direction. Often this is because you're not happy and feel a lack of purpose in your life. This is a wake up call to make changes that match your heart's desires and spiritual truths. So what a beautiful message. So this is about out with the old, you know, things that are no longer serving you, things that are not aligned anymore with who you are becoming or who you are as you walk your spiritual path, things that are not aligned with your heart's desires. This is the time to release them, you know, and let go of any fears and walk away from all that is 
is not aligned. We've got the full moon tomorrow, which is all about releasing. So think about the things that you want to release, the things that are no longer serving you and work on releasing this. This may also be certain emotions, certain habits, you know, whatever is no longer serving you that is not helping you to keep moving forward and growing on your spiritual path, this is your time to release. Really powerful. The next card that came out is the help of abundance. And this is powerful as well because it's St. Patrick's Day today. So really powerful that that card has come out. And it says, although you have a lot to do, it's important that you get organized first. Once planning is complete, you can roll up your sleeves and get to work. Your guardian angels surround you and are ready to help out. This card also indicates a, love, a very loving kind and loyal friend, someone with a big heart, a quick quit and endless patience, that person could be you. So really beautiful message coming through here. You're just being reminded of, you know, how loving and kind and a loyal you are as well for your journey, for your divine mask, to your divine masculine, to yourself as well, and to keep moving forward with power. But this is also about you knowing that, you know, you are being helped by the angels, your guardian angels by your side, at all times, you're not doing your life alone. And, you know, and abundance is coming into your life as well. This is, you know, the um, Irish, the lack of the Irish. This is about great things coming into your life. So you're being asked if you have a lot to do right now to really sort of plan things properly. Call upon Archangel Metatron to help you with planning and, you know, timing as well to be able to do all the things that you're wanting to do. And then once you've done with all the planning, when that is complete, you can roll up your sleeves and get to work so you're being asked to sort of get organized in certain things and ask the angels to help you as well with that and know that you have the helpers you know the angels are there to help you with everything and anything that you ask for help with so really powerful that that has come out the next card that has come out is a new beginning and it says you are at the beginning of a wonderful journey there's no need to have any fear as guardian angels walk beside you every step of the way you will have unique gifts to offer the world if you will just free yourself from what holds you back. Now new opportunities will present themselves if you truly believe. So really powerful. This is like the full card as well. So you're being shown here that new beginnings are coming in for you. You know, I've been talking about change coming in since 3 a.m. when I put, um, you know, that post on, on the community page. And that was guidance that I was getting to put that in. So you're being shown that your good is coming in, change is coming in for you, but you have to believe. Again, that same message has come, come, come out from the angels as well. And that was the message that came through even in that little post that I did, that you have to believe that the, all the things that you are desiring are coming in for you. And, you know, they are new opportunities that are going to present themselves to you. So let go of any fears, let go of doubt, let go of fear, even when when it comes to your twin flame journey or in relation to other things in your life as well and know that the new beginning is here you know it's that time of rebirth it's that time of a new start great things coming into your life really really beautiful and that is the same to do with your twin flame journey as well and the last card that came out for you is successful completion and he says, this is a time of incredible accomplishment. You're justified in feeling joy, a sense of completion and pride in the amazing job you've done. You've been blessed with many spiritual insights. Soon you'll begin a new journey. But for now, take time to bask in the happiness of your dreams coming true. So really powerful. You're being shown here that that's, that completion is coming in. You are going to have the world, you know, and all the things that you desire are coming in for you. And, you know, and also just look at how far you've come on your journey and, you know, and not give up now because you've come such a long way in your own healing, in your own life. And, you know, and be grateful for how far you've come. Feel good in yourself about the work, the hard work that you've put in and know that, you, that all that work that you're putting in is also being recognized by heaven so you're being shown here that you know you've achieved so much in your life right up up to now as you're moving forward on your spiritual path and you know and that is going to bring in all that you desire so you know right now the angels are saying you know great things are coming in you are about to begin a new journey and that's a journey with your divine masculine you know doing your mission and the things that you are here to do but you know it's all coming in for you so right now you're being asked to take that time to just bask in the happiness of all that you've achieved up to now 
be in a place of gratitude and be in a place of being excited and happy and know that your dreams are coming true. So your dreams are coming true. Change is coming in. Great things are coming in for you. So be joyful on this day, you know, and just know that with the luck of the Irish as well on this St. Patrick's Day, great things are coming in for you. I hope you have a great day, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Love, peace, positivity, and light.